Hey guys, this is Jack from Jack's Garage. Today I'm working on my 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. We'll be replacing the top spoiler of the tailgate. Hopping out of the back of the truck, got caught on my foot and snapped right off. We'll be replacing it with original Mopar parts. Let's get started. I got the back tailgate wing off of eBay from my favorite Mopar dealer. So I'll cut that open. I also got the six clips it's going to take to fit into the top. Not sure exactly how to take those off, but I got a couple screwdrivers to get that done. So also replacing it, you can see how faded it is. A little 2013. So it's got a little bit of sun fading. So this one looks like we've got some double-sided tape on one side to stick it on the top. And then we might have to drill the new plugs through the top. Damn, I didn't even need them. Shoot. After I opened it up, I just realized that it might have ordered the clips for no reason. This one has the double-sided tape on the back, which I thought it was going to do both. We're going to have the connectors and the double-sided tape, but it, since it's a 2013 to 2018, it might just be the new style. So instead of the connectors, which I did purchase, they were about $2 a piece, looks like we're just going to have to use the double sided tape. So I'll get started removing these clips. So the first one that I tried to get off snapped right off. It's old and it's been in the sun. Let me just snap it off with this. It looks like I might have to use the point put it in the center, kind of beat it out with the hammer to get it to go through the other side. So it'll be the easier way to get it out. So, pop the piece through. I'm gonna use these little pliers. And you can see that all it does is spin, or, or spreads it. Pops through the center and spreads this piece like two wings. So I'm gonna to attempt to try to use this on the next one, but it already looks like it's pretty brittle. So it looks like all of them are going to just snap right off. They're no good. Maybe that's why they replaced these with the double-sided tape. I'm going to just go in there and snap them off. And we'll get the larger one. Okay, here we go. Get right in the center. <clears throat> And it'll pop all off. We'll do the same to all six of them. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this is a chalkboard. Huh? Popped up the edge. Just continue to do that all the way down. It'll be easier just to cut them off. It's unfortunate. So I'll get the these little crimps or wire cutters and pop the top off. And we'll just pop each one of them through. Black little piece. This one's stuck way down in there. Alright, well I don't want those pieces rattling around in here. So I've got the Torx 25 to the, to the drill. I'm going to just unscrew all of these. And I've actually had to take these off once before to get to the camera to do the install, the backup camera. All right, getting this removed will all give me access to get inside and get the pieces that I broke off. It also will allow me to see the top where these pieces clip in. Like you can see this one was right here and they should be the same all the way down. So I've got some pliers and I'll crimp the top of those to try to pry it off. So 
just pulling on it now. Feels like I will need the pliers. So I'm going to reach in here with the pliers, pinch the top of that piece and let it slide off. I need to look in here. I found it. There, I've got the first one. Next one's a little further down. So it feels like there's two there. There's one on the top. If I can get it with my hand. No. Just have to get the right angle in there. And really, when you're taking this off and not replacing it, you can just break the clips off if you have to. But they're kind of rubbery. Spin that a little bit. Pop my other one back in. That one's in the top one. that next one off right there. So there's two connectors in each is what I'm finding. You've got two and then two and only the ends have the single connector. We're not going to be reusing this one. Last one here is giving me a little bit of trouble. Give it a little snap. There we go. So the old one looks just like the other one, except that for connection with some clips, and the new one's got the double sided tape. So pull out all the debris. Any of the little pieces that fell in here. Alright, I've gotten those. Now I'm going to wipe it down some cleaner and then we'll rub it down with some isopropyl alcohol to get this to where the adhesive will stick to it. I'm wiping it all down with some McGuire's Quick Wax just to wipe off the dirt and get the surfaces under something cleaned up. So what's under this will be nice and clean. We'll pop that in place. And then we'll also take the isopropyl alcohol, put it on my rag, and wipe that wax off of where we are going to put the double sided tape. Get it on there. Nice and heavy, and then wipe it off really well to remove any of the wax residue or anything else that was under there over time. Got that removed, and now I'm just going to peel this double sided tape over to the side. So you can see I've got a little bit removed right there. I'm just going to pop it on, and then once it's on, we'll use the, the red hanging up here and we'll pull it off and then press it on. In. Got that. And I'm going to take that red strip and pull that away from that 3M tape. Okay. And just press firmly on the back side here. Okay. Feels like it's popped in and secure. Now I'll screw these screws in and finish up. Finished up installing all of the screws. Got the backside all wiped down. You can really tell the difference between the old one and the new one. It's all faded. We've got the old plugs. It's super clean without them. Looks really good. So, thank you for watching and tune in next time.